now in the next program let us check this new pattern so what is happening over here very important point that i want to make while solving problems related to pattern programming is that half of the problem is solved when you understand the given pattern first so let us see in this pattern what is happening suppose user has entered five so obviously there are five rows okay so this is my first row this is second third fourth and fifth okay so for the first row program is going to print five stars so that is my n stars and then in the second row there are four stars that is n minus one and in the third row there are n minus two then n minus three then n minus four so that is one star so we need to decrement counter value of n by one for each row so this is one way to look at this problem alternatively there is easier way also see notice that we are decrementing value of n by one on each iteration of the row okay but if you check this sequence this is nothing but your original n then n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on so number of rows that we are required to print for this pattern are same either you loop incrementally or decrementally but if we use for loop in decrementing order then it will be easier for us to print number of stars so in the first loop what we can do is we can use the loop in decrementing order that is i can initialize i to n that is the final value then i will check the condition while i is greater than or equal to 1 and then decrement i by 1 using i minus minus and inside of my for loop i can just initialize j equal to 1 and i just need to loop j for i times so condition will be j less than or equal to 1 and then I'll increment j plus plus let us understand how every iteration will work over here so initially in the first loop i will be initialized to 5 and the condition will be checked as 5 greater than or equal to 1 which is a true condition hence controller will go inside the loop and because i is equal to 5 so this part will be executed for 5 times that is from j equal to 1 till 5 because the condition is j less than or equal to 5 so this block will be executed five times so initially the cursor will be here then it will print star five times over here and cursor will come on to this location once j becomes six this condition will be false then we are just feeding a slash n over here so compiler will come on to the next line and then i will be decremented it will become four then the second loop will be executed for four times then cursor will come over here again it will come on to the next line because of slash n so this whole process will be repeated till i becomes zero and then the program will be terminated so my final output will be like this and in the end cursor will be over here